Welcome to our global networking forum titled Rise of Exciting and Emo an Emotional Space Business. Uh, my name is Kyoko Dateki. Uh, I'm from uh, JAXA. Um, I'm a director of uh, JAXA Business Development and the Industrial Relations Department. I'm honored to moderate this session as one of the IEC GNF for the next 45 minutes. I hope you enjoy and find new value of space business in this session. So first, let me tell you about what is exciting and emotional space business. For decades, people have pursued the functional value of space development and have inspired the world with the scientific and uh, technological advancement. <laughs> so it has remained a space field with uh, only a limited number of per, uh, people involved. As the space business expands uh, and as more people become directly involved in the space development, we are expecting to see the emergence of what we want to call space emobiz, which is a business area that builds on the inspirational value of space. When the technology allows us to appeal this, uh, the emotion of many people, so they can feel the experience, the excitement derived from the space, sci space and science and technology. So today, in this session, we are going to tell about Space Emobiz with distinguished four distinguished speakers uh, whose Space Emobiz has been in progress. So here are four wonderful speakers, and I will introduce uh, them one by one. Then they will briefly talk about their activities. So first, Mr. Yusuke Muraki, Muraki-san, as a Japanese style, Muraki-san, who is next to me, from Sony Group Corporation. So, Muraki-san, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Yusuke Muraki from Sony. Uh, thank you for gathering in uh, lunchtime. I think you may be hungry, so I, I'll try my best to satisfy your appetite. Yeah, thank you. Okay, next. And uh, Ms. Rumiko Nango from Bascule Inc. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm from uh, Bascule Inc. And this is my first time uh, to attend to ISC. So honored to be here. Um, thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you. So next, Ms. Lena Okajima from L Inc. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Lena Okajima, uh, CEO and founder of L. Uh, L is a space startup uh, company uh, based in Tokyo. So today, uh, I'm very excited to have this panel, panel uh, with this panel. So uh, enjoy uh, this discussion. Thank you. OK, thank you. And the last, thank you for waiting. <laughs> Ms. K1 from Kalman Project Foundation. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ke Wang. I am the co-founder of Carmen Project Foundation. So quickly, of what we do is we are really bridging the space and the non-space sectors together and also bridging the art, entertainment, and the culture with space. Of course, more to come very soon. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, so now I would like the four of you to introduce your activities, but within the three minutes each. And uh, so let's start from uh, Muraki-san. Thank you. Three minutes is kind of short, but I try my best to be concise. So uh, we are uh, pro in progress. Uh, it's a Star Sphere project, space inspiration project. It's a collaborative project between Sony and University of Tokyo and JAXA. This is a project to familiarize space to general public. So please uh, watch our concept video. Viewing our blue Earth from space and gazing at the countless stars has previously been an exclusive experience for astronauts. Challenging new frontiers through the power of technology, we will open up the perspectives of space to unlock inspiring exploration and deliver inspiring space experiences across the globe. 
through the power of entertainment. Enabling unique imaginations of space, we will be able to connect and create together more freely than ever before. This new perspective has the power to change human consciousness and unleash infinite ideas and creativity. Through inspiring space experiences, Sony will deliver a shared sense of unity to individuals, encouraging creativity around the world onwards to inspire future generations. Unleash space. Thank you for watching. Uh, Unleash space is our uh, keyword. And what we are doing, uh, we are developing 6U CubeSat with Sony's camera. And uh, what we are doing is to let, to allow general public, ordinary people like students, artists, creators, and you to control this satellite to take photos di uh, directly or remotely from space. And uh, we are developing kind of user interface, web-based application like uh, Google Earth looking um, uh, satellite simulator, the photo shooting simulator, so that you can uh, intuitively control this satellite in advance and request uh, where and how you can take photos. And also we collaborate with artists uh, like Hiroshi Sugimoto, he's a very famous uh, contemporary or fine artist based in uh, New York. Uh, we ask him to take photos from, from space using our tool and also we are doing educational program. And also we are uh, trying to develop the consumer businesses. And first one in the right side, it's a full package. It's a premium space photo shooting experience. So uh, users can reserve one orbit for uh, almost 100 minutes uh, to uh, take photos or movies uh, in, uh, with the 10 minutes operation of satellite due to the uh, limitation of the battery. And you can get 50 still images and 30 second 4K movies uh, in this program. And our uh, current plan is the, uh, the cost, uh, I mean price, would be uh, uh, 5,000 US dollars. And in the left side is space photo shooting tours. It's kind of shared orbit uh, with multiple uh, users. So in this uh, package, uh, we invited uh, famous guests like astronaut or musicians or artists to guide this uh, virtual space photo shooting tours. And the uh, users can press shutter button for or one image with fixed sequence. Uh, they cannot control the attitude or the angles, but uh, they can press the shutter button for one photos. And its unique photo uh, it will be given with the copyright. And the price range will be 100 to 200 US dollars for each uh, user. So please take a look at the uh, image of this uh, consumer service. So users can select uh, different thematic tours, like topic of uh, SDGs or uh, space travel or like uh, educational programs. Or even some users may choose based on the date for birthday or memorial events. And the guest will develop the sequence based on their request, what they want to take. And other users joining this tour will share the, the sequence set by the, the guest. And they can get one of uh, selected photos. And they get copyright so they can use it for any purposes like decorating their houses or making like commercial products like t-shirt or creating art. Yes, so uh, that's what I prepared. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very impressive videos. So next, Nanko-san, yes, please, for the US.
Hello, uh, I'm going to explain about like uh, um, Bascule, like our, our company, and we are uh, very new for <laughs> doing the space project. Uh, actually, uh, we are uh, based on Tokyo and a um, uh, digital creative company, so most of the time we work for the advertisement or marketing for the brands, but uh, sometimes we do uh, our own project, such as uh, this, our space project. And our space project is called as the Space Frontier Studio Kibo. So what it is, is actually we made or like built up uh, the space studio inside the module of uh, uh, Japanese module uh, Kibo. And I think it is like uh, the only and one uh, studio, space studio in the world, and that can connect between uh, uh, ground and uh, ISS uh, with the face to face. And we done already for like six times, uh, uh, our project is like done for six times. And first two uh, project is we work with JAXA's uh, JSPARK program, which is uh, support uh, for the uh, commercial uh, private, uh, I mean like the company to be able to commercialize uh, uh, in the space project. So after the uh, third uh, project we are right now, um, in the uh, commercial phase right now, and uh, we were still like working on uh, those like programs. And I brought some, um, uh, and also uh, not only our own project, but uh, our system is used for JAXA's uh, commercial event, and at the same time, uh, 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 like a private astronaut also used our system. So I brought some like a uh, short reel, so please enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Uh, the space is like a, a little bit far from like um, uh, the regular life for like uh, the regular like uh, people like me. <laughs> so like we have to think about you know what we can do over the space is like uh, more like emotional and entertainment. So like uh, childrens and babies cannot go to the space yet, but if we can use like uh, our system, we can bring anyone to the space and they can see the beautiful Earth together. So that is like our concept. And uh, as I said, like we annually doing our project. So this year, end of the, this year, <laughs> uh, we are going to do a space live uh, project as well. Now I'm gonna talk about like uh, what we are doing for the future. So I have like three future vision today. And one is our, uh, one of like our future vision is we want to expand our uh, Space Sunrise Live program, not only in Japan, but all over the world. So what we are thinking is by using the same uh, footage from the uh, ISS, maybe we can celebrate together uh, from all over the world uh, to celebrate the new year together and do uh, see the uh, different like, uh, space sunrise together. So that is like our one of the goal uh, in the future, like what we want to do, connect everywhere together and celebrate new, uh, new Year's Day. And second one is uh, we actually want to go to for like a global project because like the space sunrise, uh, the first space sunrise might be like a, one of like a culture 
uh, background, especially for the Japanese. Uh, Japanese also, you know, uh, like to see the the first sun, uh, first uh, sunrise, uh, beginning of the year as a luck, and. Um, so like uh, I'm like thinking about maybe we can do something together at the Earth Day event, and we already uh, decided to collaborate with the UK uh, NPO uh, Earth Percent, which is based in uh, uh, UK, and one of like uh, British artists uh, Brian Eno is uh, uh, working for this NPO. So we already decided. Uh, on next year, uh, on April 22nd, we're going to do the uh, global online uh, space event. And the last one, uh, the last future vision about our project is, so we are thinking about collaborating our space project with Web3. So uh, last uh, year, we did uh, actually a uh, space NFT as a first try. and. Um, Still, it's selling, but we already uh, donated 20.22% to the next generation's uh, uh, space project. And uh, what, we, I, what I think is uh, uh, we always like working with a lot of like, uh, co companies, like a big companies or small companies and creators. But uh, at the same time, I just like, think about like, uh, each individual can uh, work together and can do some like a space project together. So uh, the good uh, tools and the good um, things is about like Web3 is each individual can be a part of the project. So I'm thinking of working on Web3 and also um, this like new business model is uh, on, uh, under underway uh, with uh, the very famous, uh, one of the very famous crypto company, Animoca brand KK. So um, from uh, from the end of this year to next year, uh, we, are, we are going to work for the, uh, our space project and Web3. And that's it. that is like I have today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. We look forward to having your event so, so many times, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So next, Okajima-san. Yes, please. Okay. So, uh, so as I mentioned, uh, I, um, uh, uh, our company, L is uh, uh, creating uh, shooting stars and uh, Japanese to Tokyo-based st startups, space technology startups. And uh, could you please <laughs> change the... Uh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so our company is creating shooting stars, but uh, it's not just for the entertainment. Uh, our vision is anchor space into our culture to empower humankind to new endeavors. So we are uh, uh, values fundamental sciences and uh, want to contribute to the scientific development. So uh, space entertainment is uh, one of the kind of uh, to tools of scientific outreach. So uh, now uh, we have uh, three business protocols. So we are called uh, our shooting star uh, is Sky Canvas. And we have another two, uh, debris mitigation business and uh, atmospheric data business. But uh, today, we do, I'd like to focus on Sky Canvas businesses. So we are creating shooting stars uh, with using microsatellite. So uh, I use, uh, we build microsatellite, and the satellite contains small particles in it. Uh, so around 1,000 particles. So and satellite orbiting around the Earth and uh, satellite uh, release particles into the atmosphere. Then we can create uh, shooting stars uh, re, uh, from the ground. Uh, uh, we can create uh, same situations, uh, natural shooting stars, and we can see as uh, shooting stars from the ground. So uh, our shooting stars are bright enough uh, by watching uh, city area. And of course, uh, we can enjoy our shooting stars rural, rural side. And uh, of course, uh, vacation is very nice. So we, our shooting star could be uh, held uh, many particles in 
one, one timing. So uh, it is very spectacle uh, scene. And uh, I want to arouse people's curiosity and convey the excitement uh, of science and the space industry. So our shooting star can be used by uh, tourism or something because uh, Aurora will gather the many people uh, to one place. So we can create same situations with using our shooting stars. So our shooting star can be seen uh, from 200 kilometers uh, diameters, so very huge areas. And our shooting star is a night event, so many people uh, gather the p a place and uh, enjoy the uh, this uh, environment and uh, enjoy uh, tourism of the place uh, which held uh, shooting stars. So now uh, we are uh, talking with many government of uh, tourism. So this is our achievement uh, of our technology. So we are developed, uh, we already developed very bright shooting star cars and uh, we already uh, launched two satellites. Uh, uh, for the first satellite is uh, launched by the JAXA's program and second satellite was uh, launched uh, by Electron Rocket Labs rocket. So uh, we Unfortunately, uh, we haven't delivered our shooting star yet. Uh, this is very challenging, but uh, we have uh, success to uh, launch two satellites, and we already have many uh, knowledge to uh, create satellite and operating satellite. So our shooting star, uh, we are now uh, building third satellite, so this is uh, uh, fast shooting star deliver satellite, and it will be held 2024. So enjoy uh, our shooting star uh, 2024. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're all waiting for your thoughts, thoughts like this. Okay, so next, Kei-san, please introduce your activity. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, oh, I don't know if we will use slides here, um, but of course I think I will also do most of the time by talking. Uh, so today, as you know, the topic is about emotions and business. So I also would like to divide it into these two parts. So the first part is um, I am the co-founder of a Common Project Foundation, and what we do is we are really fostering trust, independent dialogue, and cooperations between the ones who are shaping the future of space. And one of the important sectors we are working with uh, is in the arts and entertainment and cultural side. So actually, I think I do have like some slides if you could. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. So... For example, uh, last year we produced a documentary and the name is called The Space That Makes Us Human. So we worked with more than 200 artists over the world uh, and we produced a documentary which contained four chapters and they also include climate change and also digital divide space governance and also the general inspiration, how do we bridge more people from the non-space sectors to the space industry. And I am very proud to say that one of the chapter of the documentary has won the film festival at the Kana Film Festival and now is even eligible to run the Oscar running um, yeah, competition. So of course what I would like to say here is when we look at when we are just look at ourselves as a humanities, when we don't know each other's different cultures, or when we don't know each other's languages, would it really bridge us together if you can think of two common things? One is music, because we don't need to know a certain language to understand the beauty of it. And the other one is the inspiration of space exploration. So this is why these two topics are really just in our daily life that we can share together. Um, and then the other are like what we are doing at the common is that every year we also produce the uh, reports that we also bridge different 
uh, academia side. For example, we also work with Oxford University. So every year we work with uh, the social science department at Oxford University, and then we also discuss the topics of humanities and space, and also in general the social science and the cultural side. Um, and just now when I mentioned, I want also want to talk about the business, which is not on the slides, was because I wanted to share a little bit then how I met Lena. It was already five years ago, because I also have been organizing music festivals for some years. And at that time, when I met Lena, I already asked her this question. Would you like to show your shooting star at my festival? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, so of course the opportunity is still here, because this is why, again, we come from different cultural background, but we are all in the space industry. And also we find the connection also through music. And this offer, as I also mentioned, it still exists here. Um, and of course, I think later we will also dive deeper into the business side. And this morning we also talk about, okay, how we can engage Sony together and also how we can engage the consumers together. Because in the end, Currently, we just have too, many, too much uh, B2G or B2B business in the space industry. We also would like to see more of the B2C business. And also, this is like a, really a perfect way how we can bridge also awareness raising and also production and also emotional business and, yeah, the real launch of the shooting star. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your introduction. So you all have the interesting space emo bizu already. So let's move on to some topic which I have already proposed to, uh, to the speakers for this session. So first one is the pro potentiality of space emo bizu. Since space emo bizu is a new field of space business, so there must be a huge potentiality. So Muraki-san, could you tell us space immobiz in the viewpoint of the business potentiality? Uh, thank you. So I think I can explain that uh, in three three ways. Mm -hmm. So firstly, we see uh, big um, potentials as a promising market because, uh, by the way, do you know Sony? Uh, Sony. <laughs> It's famous for camera and PlayStation and Sony pictures like Spider-Man. So we are doing technology side and also entertainment side. And we see, you know, most of the or much of the sales of Sony is from entertainment side now, it's not only from the like semiconductors or TV or camera. So we see it's a big potential market. And I, I think um, space industry is kind of very serious now to solve uh, social issues like climate change or the agriculture, but it's it's almost based on instrumental values, we can say, like it's beneficial to use satellite for remote sensing, communication, GPS, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's it has an inspiration, it has a, like, it, it inspires the curiosity of people, so such uh, emotional value or spiritual value of space is a source of the business, entertainment business, we believe. So um, if we can combine these two, space and like emotion, then uh, we think it, it will be a big business market in, in the future. So that's one. And secondly, for space industry, I think it, it can open up a new approach of space utilization. So I think I can express the evolution of space business or how space is financed uh, in this way. Like space 1.0 is uh, government driven, like in the Cold War. And then it moves to the business based, like Ariane started to launch rocket commercially. And then now we can say it's a billionaire's vision driven space utilization has started, like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, uh, that space activity is not only based on the commercial, uh, you know, uh, profit, but also they they are strongly inspired by the vision. And I think after that, if our vision is successful, the space 4.0, based on like people's emotion-driven space exploration or utilization, can come. But it's it's a big challenge how we can make it business. So uh, I'm so excited to find our friends and you know partners to explore this uh, new approach. And I think, you know, many of audiences 
uh, visit today is, can, can share the same vision. So uh, it, it will be exciting if we can uh, open up new space utilization. Uh, that's second potential. And lastly, uh, it's the most ambitious potential, I can say. I, I think space emobizu can influence the people's mind because we can involve general public, not only professionals, like elites, like uh, smart professors or astronauts, but we can involve ordinary people who love music, right? So then we can bring the value of space perspectives, like to see the Earth as one globe, you know, to protect the environment or fight against climate change. And also we can compare the, um, like um, our environment with other planets and that, that can open up new vision for humanity. So as like Copernicus opened up our mind like 500 years ago, thanks to the observation of the, the space, I think second Copernican revolution could be caused by if we use this technology to share space perspectives with general publics. So that's very ambitious, but I think uh, our MOBIZU can be a tool to open up that potentiality. So that's, that's my view. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your explanation excites us. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, Nanko san, uh, the same topic. To extend the space emobizu, we, ex we expect more people to be involved and attract the space business. So who do you expect to involve in your business, if you have any concept? Thank you. Um, um, as I said, like, uh, still like uh, we want to, um, a lot of like, companies, uh, uh, if, we, uh, if they are very interested in, uh, but they don't know how to involve in space. I wanna, uh, we wanna be a, you know, good partner to open their door to the space. So that is like also, uh, we want to looking for uh, the partners, good partners uh, to be involved in space. And also like individuals, you know, each individual also uh, can be a part of the space project. So um, also like, a, even you know um, the children and the kids and other um, and beyond of the nations. Uh, uh, I want like everyone who can uh, um, attend the space project. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I believe space emobizu will fascinate all the people, everyone, and not only the young children, but also the old, uh, the yeah, old people, maybe uh, all over the world. Yes, thank you. So the Okajima san. So to involve the new players, the space emobizu. So collaboration would be the one of the effective way. So Okajima san, do you have any business field to collaborate with? Uh, so uh, we are now collaborate with tu tourist tourism uh, uh, industry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, however, uh, for the more than uh, space uh, MOBs, uh, I'm very completely agree with Murakisan's uh, opinion because uh, so this situation is very similar to the beginning of the internet. Mm -hmm. So at first, government start internet and business uh, follows. And after that, uh, entertainment spread the usage of the uh, internet. So MOBs is not nice to have, I think, and must have. Oh, sometimes I talked with investors, uh, space entertainment. Uh, so investor told us space entertainment is nice to have, not must have. But I don't think so. So uh, to spread. Uh, space usage, uh, we must have entertainment and emotional business. So I'd like to involve uh, many individuals, of course, and many uh, industries, and uh, not special industries, because space is just the place's name, to place's definition. So we don't say uh, Earth industry. <laughs> Uh, this is the same. So space industry is, uh, uh, the word space industry will disappear in the future, I think. So it's just place. So I'd like to involve all over the world <laughs> industry joins this place. 
Thank you. It's, it's a very nice comment. We will yeah, seek for that world. Yes. Okay, so Kei-san, with those in, uh, in involvement and the collaboration with the new players, how do you think that space MOBs or simply uh, space business will be expanding to the near future? Thank you. Um, I think there are also two ways. One is we do need a lot of awareness raising. Uh, and this is also what we are doing most of the time in common project. And also this awareness raising is not only coming from space and art or entertainment, because sometimes it's also about what's the space governance and also what's the, the real situation in the space industry to make people realize, again, we are all humans. And then we are also really aligned on the vision when we are talking about going to the moon or going to the Mars. We are not representing, we are not representing a certain country, but we are representing us as a humanity. So this is one side. Uh, and then from the other side is, again, the business, because I don't want to overlook this side. It's super, extremely important. Um, and from my side, uh, when it comes to the business, I would say I am coming from the potential, let's say, the client or customer side. Because when we talk about the tourism industry or like entertainment, so for example, music festival is definitely one of the potential customers for space entertainment. And this is why at least individually, I am already bought <laughs> like with this idea. And this is why what happened even five years ago then it was already really the beginning of this um, yeah, intersection. Uh, and now, of course, we are still ready. And even just now when we were talking about how to even involve Sony and also involve the other companies together, the reason is when you look at the music festivals or when you look at the entertainment industries, you're really targeting the consumers. And the consumers, again, hum humans. <laughs> so each human, uh, and then when they join those activities, when they join the festivals, there is the beauty in it because they want to take a part in it. And if we have the theme of space, we all know that people now are getting excited about space. But sometimes we also find the frustrations when people say, yes, it's cool, but how can I take part? So this could be a potential opportunity, for example, when we could let the cloud, the participants who took the op who take part in the, in the festival, because usually we have like 20,000 people or even bigger ones. Uh, and then they could see, first of all, for example, I have the opportunity to take the photos of myself with the space background. And the second, I could see the artificial shooting stars. And also, what will be even beautiful will be that they know it's not just a show, even though it's a show business, but here it's like a pun. It's not really a show because it's even solving the problems that we are also talking about every day, the space debris. So this is how we can really make the storytelling, the awareness raising, and also commercial, like a business side, really combined together. Because we also want to make people either to be or to see business. We want to make our customers, we want to make our consumers comfortable and inspired and also come back again. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I think all the audience, uh, depend on uh, your understanding of space and mobile. So next topic is, we will move to the next topic, and it's about your endeavors to overcome the difficulties. Because space and mobile is a new approach, so there must have been a lot of uh, things to solve. Yeah, many difficulties. So I would like to ask, so first, Okajima-san, <laughs> about the sky canvas because it's a very challenging with high technology development. So could you, could you share your story about your endeavors? Yeah, so we are facing many difficulties uh, because we are the first uh, company to create artificial shooting stars. So first of all, the concept uh, create shooting star. So we release the particles out of, from the outer space. So it's hit many people's uh, mind. Uh, I mean, uh, many people con um, considered about uh, it's become space debris. So uh, we do care uh, very much 
and uh, we have many conversation with JAXA's uh, supportive members and of course uh, other stakeholders all over the world. And uh, so it's very, it was very hard to uh, make uh, understanding uh, that our satellite is very safe and we are very controlled and caring uh, our shooting star not become space debris. So now uh, many people can understand our safetyness. So uh, we can uh, launch our uh, satellite, but uh, it takes a time. And uh, to create shooting star is quite a new thing. So uh, many, many people uh, are caring uh, is it okay or something? So, and um, so this is the first uh, facing challenge, face the challenge, and the second challenge is of course the technological side. So, we already launched two satellites, and 95 percent we we had success to launch our satellite, but only one part uh, is something wrong. So we can't deliver our shooting stars. So. This technology is also uh, difficult, but now uh, we are fixed, uh, we are uh, revealed which happened, what happened at the satellite, so we can update our satellite and creating a new satellite right now. So technological side is of course difficult and uh, and this is not for the space entertainment, uh, but uh, for the startups, uh, generally for the startups. Team building is very difficult, so so human is all. So uh, so the member is all uh, all of our companies. So uh, team building is very challenging for me. Thank you very much. So Nango San, can you also uh, introduce your uh, endeavors to overcome the difficulties on your project? Thank so, you. Sorry um, for the time constraint. Short trip, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, like the first time uh, when we start the space project, of course, we had never done before. So, what happened is we, first we have to understand what's the situation over the Earth. So, we never thought like uh, at such a very difficult <laughs> and uh, um, uh, a lot of like uh, Jack said, specialist and producer, and also like a Japanese astronauts help us a lot and. Uh, uh, we sometimes did like, okay, so we had like plan A and B. And I was like, so now we, I have like plan C. And but like, uh, of course, you know, Jap Jackson specialist asked us, you know, so what happened to D and F? And what? Do we have to prepare for more plans? <laughs> but that is how the like, professional they are. And I was like, so uh, learned a lot. <laughs> So that was like the first time we got like difficulties, and uh, right now is um, also we have to think about uh, how to uh, keep continuing our project and as like sustain you know programs. So that is like also our uh, next uh, pro uh, I mean like issue that we have to think about for the uh, next uh, emotional like a space emotional business. And uh, yeah, we have like a lot of. Um, partners in here. So maybe we can do some like discussion and step by step we can go forward. Yeah, with partners. Thank so yeah. Thank you. So Murak san could you interest introduce your uh, difficulties? <laughs> yes, I think the biggest challenge for all of us is to succeed as a business. I think there have been a lot of programs or initiatives based on emotional values of space but it was mainly for outreach or you know CSR so it's it's not sustainable so what we are challenging is to how to make a profit how to make a sales based on our services and it's kind of totally new new business field so we have to find out based on proof of concept a business development so what we are trying to do with the first uh, satellite to be launched by the end of this year is to start small and find a way if customers, uh, the mass consumers want our services, we have to go. Or if creators, artists who can sell their artwork with like millions of US dollars, 
Is it the right answer? We have to go art market. So we don't know what's happening. So we just try to find out a different ways uh, using our first satellite. And then maybe audience can see our, what, what, what we will face. Then more startups and more companies come into our business. And then I think new market will appear. So it's, it's not our only challenge. It's, it's like space industry challenge. So that's our feeling. So it's, it's very exciting that many of audience come here. So maybe in the next IAC, uh, we hope we can discuss the result of our business development and like we can discuss further. Yeah, we will discuss again at the next IEC. So, I, I believe your stories encourages the new players, as you know the potentiality. Now, now you know the potentiality and difficulties of the space MOBs. So we hope this uh, momentum foster the, and uh, promote space MOBs more and more as one of the space business categories. So now it's time to close the session. So please, finally, uh, give us a sh short uh, closing remark by each one. So from Kaysam, please. Oh, thank you. It is also emotional to close this panel. <laughs> um, I would like to give everyone here some hope because just now, I think with all the elements here, um, as also even when we before we started the panel, we already had the idea that we will organize the next festival, <laughs> potentially in Berlin or another city, uh, and then we already have all the elements like all the partners here, um, and also Lena, you will start. You you will be ready finally in 2024. 2024. And, yes. And then we will have all the production here to also really bridge the emotional side from all the clouds. Oh, from, sorry, from all the crowds. <laughs> yes, cloud as well. And then we also have the cameras. We have like all the yeah, real exciting product to get the customers, uh, consumers excited. And then, of course, in the festival, we will take care of that. Um, yeah, so this is how I would like to conclude. I think it's still, it is hard, but it is really super promising because we have seen too much B2G, B2C, oh sorry, B2G and B2B business. I think now it is time for B2C. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so Okajima-san, please. So, uh, as Kei-san Kei mentioned, and me, oh, oh, let, all members mentioned uh, this is the very beginning of the space MOBs, but uh, in the future, many, many people joined uh, this side, I, I believe. So uh, at first, uh, 2024's shooting star is very big uh, problem for me. A pro not a problem, a very big event for me. So uh, let's enjoy uh, space MOBs uh, in 2024. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So, now go some, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm so exciting to uh, talk about like our project, but also I'm so uh, looking for all of our project, you know, what's gonna be happen for the next uh, year and next, you know, uh, in the future. And also, um, yeah, it's like a very open right now and I'm so exciting and uh, uh, always like looking for more people who joined the space project. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Thank you. Um, I think the unique point of space MOV Zoo is everybody can be consumers. So even, even you can use our camera for, to, to take photo. So I think it's a journey, not only by providers, but it's, it's all can be involved. So uh, we hope uh, we can partner with everybody uh, who loves space and who wants to explore new new view of the space business market. So um, I'd like to you know partner with everybody uh, joining this uh, s session. Thank you.
So thank you very much. Uh, very interesting and uh, encouraging stories you told us. So thank you for attending uh, for the audience. So thank you for attending our session today. Uh, now I, I think you now recognize the soft power of the space mobiz, and uh, I, I think you will support our business, and you will also challenge uh, uh, space mobiz as well. So please, uh, thank you very much for the attending, and that's all for today. So finally, I want to say that uh, please don't forget to visit the JAXA booth as well, <laughs> because we are going to have the uh, business pitch today, this afternoon, 3 o'clock, and introduce the Japanese industry. So today's speaker, today's speaker uh, is also uh, have the presentation there. So please come and join us. So uh, thank you very much. That's all for today.